Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today I'm going to do a video about why don't I ever get what I try to manifest, okay? Now we all know the words law of attraction, we all know the words bringing in our most passionate desires. We've all done this technique or that technique and well maybe it doesn't work, okay? But when we look at why don't we get the things that we truly, truly, truly want. You know those dreams that we had as a kid and you think, oh, I'm always going to own a Lamborghini. Or I'm always going to have a daughter. Or I'm going to have this in my life. But then years go by and we never get it. So today I want to talk about those experiences. Because, you know... I firmly believe that we do life contracts, yeah? We assign certain tasks or we agree and assign ourselves certain lessons to learn in our existence as whoever we are in this in this body, right? And today I'm Linda, by the way. Hello, I'm Linda. So, <laughs> sorry, I've got plats on today, so I love them. So, <laughs> anyway, but when we have these goals that are never met okay and we sit there and we think why didn't I get it are you ready for what I believe in I believe firmly that we remember what we're not supposed to have and there's certain people out there who try really hard to change that life um, contract sub sub clause in their contract so they do obtain whatever it is that they want i'm going to go there my sister she always wanted to have a daughter and call her crystal we're going back into the 70s now okay when crystal was a very popular girl's name funny thing she married a guy whose surname was ball b-a-double-l -L. now you can't make this stuff up so i remember People used to joke at her and say, ha, 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 you don't ever have kids because you are going to call that kid a name that's going to get teased by every day of its life, Crystal Ball. So is that why she never had kids? Because my sister, she spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on IVF, never had children, okay? So... She always strove to have something that was unobtainable to her, okay? I know somebody else who always wanted to be married forever and a day, always wanted to be married. Guess what? She's now in her 50s, never been married. So we have these desires, but I personally believe the reason why we have them so strongly, we have it as such a um, passion within us to obtain this thing that we know we'll never get. So we try harder and harder to obtain it. The reason why we never get it is because we remember that we assigned ourselves to never get it anyway. Wow. Wow. So this now opens up free will. This now opens up subclauses of our contracts. Yeah? This now opens up where we manifest what it is that we want, even when we know in our heart, pre-birth, in that time of existence between lives where we've signed our new contract for when we get born as to that person, and we say, right, I know that that child will never have a baby of their own. So when that baby is born, the first thing that it's virtually thinking of is, oh, I want to have kids. So we can change our contracts. We can change our minds, our decisions and our choices. Yes. So therefore, is it, no, is it now free will if we contract ourselves before our birth so for me I was born in 1966 so pre that when I contracted my life 
let's just say I contracted myself to always be poor, because hello, I always have been. But what about now if I want to win a million dollars or 10 million? Now, let's just not even stop there. I want to manifest a hundred million dollars. Yeah. Why can't I? Because now I've got the free will to do it. Huh. But it was free will when you contracted yourself, Linda, that you didn't have it before your birth. I know. So, but now I've changed my mind. So this is where we can change our mind, guys. They understand that we do have the free will. Yeah. But we've got to remember the lessons that we do have to assign ourselves to do while we're in this existence. Otherwise, we come back and do it all again. And is that then called deja vu? Because we already have. <gasps> Maybe I should do a video now on deja vu as well. So let's get to it. I hope you're understanding what I'm talking about here. And I'll talk to you all soon. Give me a comment below what you think about that. I'll talk soon. Bye.